at this a little more closely. First, let's talk about proper printing resolution. 300 ppi or dpi is proper printing resolution. Images destined to be printed should have a resolution no less than 300 ppi. That has to do with the output device. When we print, the human eye can see image quality decrease in any resolution lower than 300. At 300, our eye will naturally make the image look the way that it should. If it was 400 or 500 or 600 or 10,000 ppi or dpi, we wouldn't see any difference, so we shoot for 300 ppi. If a printed image has a resolution less than 300 ppi, it will begin to lose image quality and look blurry. So in my example here, 300 looks great, 225 it still looks pretty good, but as the resolution decreases, the image quality decreases. But I'd like to point out that at 72 ppi, this image looks blurry, but I told you that we could put something on the internet that's 72 ppi and it looks fine. The output device determines the image quality. So when we output to printing, the image will look blurry, but when we output to a computer monitor or a display device like a TV, this image will naturally fix or correct itself. So what if my print resolution is higher than 300 ppi? When an image is printed with ink on paper, the natural human eye cannot see any image quality higher than 300 ppi. For that reason, if we adjust the resolution to 320, 400, I already said this, uh, anything that's higher than 300, we're just wasting space on our storage device. So if you're saving pictures to your flash drive and you save them all as 600 ppi, you're just wasting space. So instead of being able to save a thousand pictures and you can now only save 500. So the other resolution we've been talking about is web resolution and proper web resolution is 72 ppi. Images destined to be viewed on the web or a display device like a monitor or a TV should have a resolution no less than 72 ppi. If a web-based image has a resolution less than 72 ppi, it will begin to lose image quality and look blurry or pixelated. So the same 72 resolution image on the internet, it looks fine, but anything below that starts to decrease. The reason that this is, is that display devices are illuminated with light. When they're illuminated with light, it naturally blurs the edges of our shapes, so it will hold image quality longer as the image quality deteriorates. So the same thing happens. Well, what if my resolution is higher than 72 ppi? What if I prep an image for print and it's 3 inches by 600, uh, sorry, 3 inches at, by 6 inches at 300 ppi? And I want to put that on the internet. Can I just toss it right on? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. But anything above 72, it looks exactly the same. So you start to waste image quality again. So now instead of being able to put 5,000 images that are destined for the web at 72 ppi on your flash drive, now you can only put 1,200 or whatever it happens to be. So why is 72 an acceptable resolution for web images? The standard image resolution for web images is much lower than that of printed images because of the nature of the display device or the output device. You're always going to prep images, whether it's for print or web or whatever you're trying to do. You have to ask yourself, what's my end point? What's the output? And you prep your images based on that. If your output device can only handle 3 ppi, you shouldn't prep an image any higher than that because you're just wasting your time, you're wasting data space, etc.